So in the last video, we looked at a very simple green screen setup with the Blackmagic Ultimate and Unreal. And today we're looking at addressing sort of the biggest problem we have with this setup. And that's that if I pan the camera off the green screen and away, we get not the world. So we're gonna use the garbage mat input on the Ultimate to cut out our little giraffe and make everything outside of that cut out the virtual world. Now to do that in Unreal, we're going to need to change two project settings. First of all, we need to enable the alpha through tone mapper setting. So I think by default it's disabled. You need to make sure it's turned to alpha through tone mapper. The other thing we need to do is turn on the depth stencil and make sure it's set to enable with stencil. Now I'm gonna go ahead and stop my media capture for a second and unhide my camera. So what I'm gonna do is simply grab a cube and throw it in our scene, like so. There we go. I'm also gonna pin the camera view so I can see what I'm doing there. And on the cube, I'm gonna enable the custom depth, random custom depth, and set it to one. And now it exists. Uh, to see that working, what we can do is create a simple post-process material. So I'm gonna make a materials folder and I'm gonna call this one M underscore post process. I'm gonna change it from surface to post-processed. I'm gonna get the scene texture, plug it into color and I'm gonna change it to custom stencil and save. Now, if I go ahead and on my camera, enable that. So under rendering features, post-process materials, I'm gonna choose an asset reference and just plug that in. We can see we get our cube. Now it's a bit shaky. That's because it's being sort of rendered after the tone mapper. So I can fix that by typing, uh, I think tone mapper, there we go. And I'm gonna go before tone mapper. There you go, now it's smooth. So I have my setup here. Now I need to do something with it. There is a cube in the middle of my scene that I don't really wanna see. So here's where the magic happens. I'm gonna make, I'm just gonna call this cube magic. Uh, and this is going to be a unlit translucent material. So translucent and unlit that I'm gonna apply to the cube. Also gonna grab a constant and plug it into the opacity so it is now invisible. Now, if I go ahead and apply it to the cube, nothing just yet. I know I was leading up for that. We need to enable two more settings. First of all, under translucency, we wanna enable uh, allow custom depth rights. Still not quite there yet. The other thing we need to do is search for mask. And we have this op opacity mask clip value. Now, if you've used mask materials before, you know this is where, this is the value at which the mask material decides it either is completely see-through or completely opaque. But this also allows us to determine when this object gets written into the custom depth pass or not. So if I set that to zero, that means it will always be written in the custom depth no matter what its opacity is. Ta-da! So now what we have here is a completely invisible cube. It's not changing anything. It's got an opacity of zero, but it shows up in the depth stencil is exactly what we want to do to make a magic mask to mask out our little giraffe. Now I can see in the bottom corner here that we're getting some other objects. Not sure what those are coming through. All right, so I just had to change the sorting order of those translucent elements in the scene. That way they don't show up in our mask. So we have a mask and we have it through magic means now all we need to do is output it. So what I can do is I can go into my, my 
media profile and enable the fill and key outputs. Now fill and key works on the Ultra Studio HD and 4K, on the Blackmagic Duo 2 and Duo 4, on the 8K Pro and the 4K Pro. It does not work on the normal SDI 4K or the mini monitors. Also works on quite a few of the Aja cards and Bluefish cards. That I don't have any of those here to test today, so that's what it is. Uh, we also need to invert the key output here just because Unreal sort of internally swaps them for some reason. Now, let's go to our post-process material and let's actually make something worth, or make something usable. So I'm gonna switch, I'm gonna duplicate the node and switch it to post-process input zero, which will give us back our regular old color. Then on the post-process, I'm also gonna enable the alpha, output alpha, that's what I want, which will give us an opacity, which will give us an opacity input, which I'm gonna plug the custom depth stencil into. Now, if I go ahead to my cine camera, like so, enable game mode, just to be sure, and media capture and capture. Nothing's happened on the ultimate. So, so if we go back to the ultimate and go to our settings, custom monitor out, inputs, and then I check my garbage mat input, you can see we are getting the garbage mat. Let's go back to the program. So what's happening here? How do I fix it? Quite simple, on the mat in settings, I just need to enable the garbage mat. So garbage mat, garbage mat in, turn it on, voila. Now you can see as I pan around my scene, you can no longer see me but rather the, oh, the weird lumen reflections. Now, back in my scene, I can grab my cube and I can just start to play with its location so I'm not cutting anything important off. Like so, a bit further down. There we go. Easy. Now you could get a bit tricky in the material and make some feathering. Uh, we could also improve our key here a little bit. Uh, there's quite a lot of noise and it's a bit of a different color. Maybe using the foreground um, controls for color to sort of help match them better. Or same thing, use the background controls for color, saturation and make them match a bit better. But for the purpose of this tutorial, that's how you do it. Pretty cool. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, I might make a handful more tutorials while I'm here in Denver, I'm not sure. Uh, we're gearing up for NAB, which I will be at on Silicon Core's booth. Can't remember off by heart the name number of that booth, so I will put that uh, on the screen now. Come by if you wanna check out some cool virtual production and have a chat. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys later.